Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tilmer again, and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be doing a new video on the Oculus Quest 2 development process. I showed you how to do that in a previous video, but I think it's time for me to update that video. So I'm gonna start by pairing the device with my iPhone device. You can also use an Android. If you have Android, that's going to work as well. You're going to need the Oculus application. Once you have that application, we're going to start setting a couple of properties, which is going to be developer mode. Once we have the developer mode set, we're going to be going into Unity, and I'm gonna show you how we can actually push our first application to the Oculus Quest 2. Okay, so before getting into Unity, I think we need to do one more step. So I'm going to be opening the Oculus application. Once I open the Oculus application, I'm going to go ahead and finish the pairing. So that's what I'm seeing on the Oculus Quest 2. It's asking me to pair it. I'm just gonna say pair. And it's gonna look for the headset. If it finds it, it'll basically pair. And then what I wanna do as well, so it looks like that was successful. Handset, headset, update completed, update completed, put on your headset to finish the setup. It's gonna go ahead and say close, and I'm gonna show you something before we wrap it up in the, in the iPad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into and select it. Click on and select more settings. And we're gonna be able to see more options in here. The one that I wanna select is developer mode. And I'm gonna enable developer mode because we're gonna to need to start doing coding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and close it. So the next thing that I want you to check is make sure that you can see the Quest 2 under devices and drivers, double click on it, double click on internal share storage. And you should see some folders in there from Oculus Quest 2. And that means that we gave our computer, the computer access to the file system for the Oculus Quest 2. So now that you verify that, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and close it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a new project, right? So this is gonna be the first test project, Oculus Quest 2 demo. And then just select the folder. It's going to be a 3D project. We can add some other things later. For now, we can just do this. You could have done URP. I'll do another video about that. Click on create. This is gonna create a new project, which is not gonna have anything, but we'll be adding the Oculus integration. All right, guys, so it looks like the project I created. What I'm gonna do now is go to file, build settings, and we're gonna change it from PC, Mac, and Linux to Android. Also make sure that your device is shown in here because we have it connected currently. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on switch platform. That should switch it from PC, Mac, and Linux to Android. Okay, looks like that was pretty fast. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be looking for the Oculus integration. So I'm just gonna click on asset store. I know that it moved from on this version of Unity, which is 2020.1. I'm just gonna click on search online. It's gonna open my browser. And then what I'll do is we'll just search in here for Oculus integration. And yep, I know that you guys made some changes. I'm gonna click on accept. There we go. And then Oculus integration. Go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna show us the package that we need to download. I already downloaded it, but yeah, in your case, it could say download. And then in my case, it says open in Unity because I already downloaded it. And then click on open Unity editor. It's gonna open that in the package manager and it's gonna say that I have a new version. I'm going to update it because the new version is going to have the changes that I need for the Oculus Quest 2. All right, so it looks at like the update completed. I'm just gonna click on import to import it into Unity. And we're gonna click on import one more time. All right guys, so it looks at like this completed and this is gonna ask you for updating the Oculus Utilities plugin. I'm just gonna say yes. And it's also going to ask you for the OVR plugin update. So I'm just gonna say restart and then go ahead and upgrade it. Make sure that you're cautious about this. I'm doing it because this is a brand new project. And it looks like everything loaded correctly. So let me just make sure that we check what we have in the Oculus integration. Audio manager, avatar, lip sync, platform, sample framework, usage, core. There's a lot of different examples that Oculus is providing. What I'm gonna do is click on usage and then we're gonna be doing and looking at the train demo. So if you go and look at the, I think it's called the hand interactions. Let's go ahead and look at that one. And yeah, this is the one. This one is gonna allow us to basically press these buttons and based on what we press, it's going to be able to interact with this scene. So I'm gonna be showing you how to how that works. So let's go ahead and go into file, build settings. I'm gonna click on add open scene so that we can build that scene. And then I'm gonna click on player settings. I'm gonna check a couple of things in here. So, because we're gonna be building in Android, I don't want to have this as the name. So let's go ahead and do, you can just go ahead and change the company name. This demo can be, we can just say the Oculus, we can just say oh, Quest 2 Hello World or something like that. Hello, I think it's fine. I just wanted to know that this is gonna be the first demo that we build for the Oculus Quest. 
And then I think everything else is, is fine. And if we get an error, then we'll come back in here and adjust it. So let's go ahead and click on build. And it's gonna ask us where we wanna build it. I just wanna make sure that it builds before I run it. So we can just say this is gonna be the train demo. It's gonna be the APK. And right off the bat, we're getting a couple errors. This one is gonna say Vulkan Graphics is not supported. I should have known that, but I haven't done this in a while. So we'll just go back through and I think that's gonna teach you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in, drop the OpenGL ES3. It's gonna be right above it. And just make sure you close that. And let me make sure that's the only error that we're getting. I think that's the only one. So now let's go ahead and do a build and it's gonna hit save. And it's gonna say that I need to update the, I'm just gonna use highest install, I think that's fine, of the Android SDK. And it's gonna you know, go through a process of building and if everything works, we shouldn't get any errors. And if we don't get any errors, I'll just do a build and run so that we can see it on the device. All right guys, so this is building the Gradle project. That actually, it's a great sign. So it looks like everything is going to work. And as soon as this is done, like I said, we're gonna do a build and run. And it looks like the build was succeeded and we didn't get any errors. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, like I said, I'm gonna do Oculus Quest. And then we're just gonna do a build and run. And I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that one, save, and yes, I wanna replace it. And yes, I want to use the highest installed version of the SDK tools. So it's gonna go and do another build. This time it's going to be faster because it already cached the shady variants that it compiled. All right guys, so this finished building. So this is what I see right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this button right here and then go into this drop down, And then I'm gonna select unknown sources. And this is gonna tell you the app that I just deployed, which is the Quest to Hello. And if everything works, we should be able to see the application. All right guys, so for some reason it wasn't rendering and I have an idea of why. So I'm gonna go into player settings and then let's go into XR plugin management. I'm gonna click on install XR plugin management. And if I remember correctly, I needed to install the Oculus plugin. And if you don't install the plugin, then it doesn't really know how to talk to the to Unity. So you can see now I have a plugin provider and then I have the Oculus option. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And once it installed, we're just gonna do a new deployment and then we'll test it out one more time. All right guys, so that finished. Let's go ahead and close out of this. And then I'm gonna try doing a new build. I'm gonna press refresh, make sure that it shows. And then build and run. I'm gonna replace my APK. Click on save to override it and then yes. And we're getting a new error here. Android minimum API must be 23. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna do, we'll just do that. Interesting that the one from the asset store didn't complain about that. So we'll just do other settings and then it's going to it's going to get the versions. Let's see, it's it needs 23 or higher. So we'll just do 23. And build fell exception, I think everything else is just okay. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and close it. And do a build and save. I think it's always interesting to do this multiple times. And I haven't done it in a while. That's why I'm getting so many errors. But hopefully by the time that you watch this video, you don't have, you don't get any errors. All right, guys, this is now launching. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, I can see my hands. Everything is working. Go ahead and press the smoke. You can see the smoke coming out. The weasel. How about the cow? Where are you, cow? There you are. Hand style. Oh, that's, that's cool. Kind of looks like a skeleton. Perfect time for Halloween. You can also do this mode where it's transparent and also skeleton. Let's go ahead and go back to that. We can stop the train. We can start the train. Okay, I'm gonna go fast. Let's have him go really, really fast. And there we go, you can see, see it. So I can stand up, see how the menu actually follows me. I don't know that I can move it. Yeah, I can't really move it. I can reverse it if I wanted to reverse it. So this is it, guys. This is the Oculus Quest 2 with hand tracking working in Unity. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any other questions on the Oculus Quest 2 development process, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check me out in patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access source code. Also, what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.